relatives on Thanksgiving, but really don't want to talk to them. Our next guest has a great solution. Her new movie, 8-Bit Christmas, premieres November 24th on HBO Max. Please say hello to June Diane Raphael. <laughs> You look fantastic. How's it going? It's going great. I feel like nobody's talking about the side effect of the vaccine, which it makes you hotter. <laughs> I don't it, know why it's not being discussed. It is funny. Like, if we found out you could lose eight pounds by taking the vaccine, suddenly it would be up to 110%. Would... <laughs> People would be getting six, seven, eight shots it's of the really vaccine. True. Yeah, well, it's good to see. Did you see Tom Hanks? Do you know him? So it's so crazy. I didn't have the courage to go tell him this. Oh. But I used to live next door to Tom's son, Colin Hanks. And one Halloween, I opened my door, and Tom Hanks was standing there, <laughs> trick-or-treating with his grandchildren. Oh, OK. And I thought, wow, that's an amazing Tom Hanks costume. <laughs> <laughs> that is really. Because in Los Feliz, everybody's an art director and creative. I was like, that's good. <laughs> Take it off. Yeah, I understand. He, did, he doesn't even reserve that for Halloween. He will go around to people's houses and knock Just on the door. Just to mess with them. It's really quite And they weird. give him whatever he asks yep. for. It's because said, he's you, Tom Yes, Hanks. I said, you, you can take more than one. You are. Just you. <laughs> You know, we were just watching a clip of Bosom Buddies and, um, and uh, Tom and Peter Scolari. You are, uh, well, I think you just, what, finished seven seasons of Grace and Frankie. Just yesterday. Uh, with James Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Yeah. Two legends of com you know, legends of everything, really. Sure. Yeah, it was crazy. I, I've never done a goodbye like that on a show oh. um, of, that's lasted that many years. And... I wanted a lot from my goodbye. Oh, you did? Too much. Did you get it? You didn't get enough? You know, Jimmy, I just, <laughs> I, you know, everybody gathered around. It was the last shot. And Jean and Lily are wrapping tomorrow. So not everybody's done. It's kind of been a, you know, every day some, we say goodbye to someone. And I wanted to hug people very closely. Sure. Too closely. Oh. Probably. And right. I just wanted to, like, make really long eye contact and just have a moment with each and every crew member. And it was the end of the day, and I see a woman walking toward me. And when I tell you I put my arms out, ready for an embrace, and to really acknowledge the time we've spent together and connect with each other on a meaningful level. And I said, come here, you. And she, <laughs> said, <laughs> she said, I just need your microphone. <laughs> and that was tough. That was tough. And I That's, realized, like, yeah. people are ready to go. Like, <laughs> send your goodbyes. We're shooting in Malibu. Like, people want to get home. Yeah. And, and it was out. your last day, but not their and last had day. We to work today quite early. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they were not yeah. happy. That was bad timing. You probably should just stop by the set, you know, I and know. been part of the real last That's day. That's absolutely right. You have this movie, which is set in the 80s, which... Is this correct or not, the best decade um, that we've experienced? I haven't seen a better one. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. Yes. Which fe it feels weird to be talking about Christmas because we just, I mean, oh, I'm we so still ready. have a I'm ready. sack of candy at our house. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, I'm ready. As soon as the clock struck midnight on Halloween, oh. I set my sights on Christmas. Oh, you did? Are so you I'm one a, of those people? I'm oh. one of those people. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. After the pandemic, in the midst of a pandemic, with all, everything we've been through, I'm like, I'm going very hard at Christmas this year. You are. Oh, absolutely. So I have two girlfriends who just recently reported that they are going to be putting Christmas trees in their living room and also in their bedrooms. Wait, no, and what? And my head exploded. Wait a minute. And I thought, I've been subscribing to the rules of society as I thought that they stood, that we all had to abide by? And you're telling me you can put another Christmas tree in a different room? Let me ask you this about your sure. two girlfriends. Are they a couple? No. So separate. they're separately purchasing. They've decided yes. this. On their own, or they came together to make this plan? So there were whispers on a group text uh -huh. that maybe this year we do two trees. And I said, I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah. I mean, call me grandma, but I'm a one tree household.
Yeah. I, I, I didn't know it was possible. And they said, expand your mind. Wow. Expand your mind. You love Christmas so much, which I do. Why not put a tree in every, in every room? Your husband is a very funny man, Paul Shear. Sure is. is he supportive? Have you run this idea by him? Is... No, sir. No, you have not yet. No. <laughs> and That's... there's not a ton of space, but just earlier today, I saw his dresser with all of his clothes and thought, do we need her? <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about this journey that I think especially men of a certain age take uh, in the middle of the night uh, to go to the restroom and whether he might walk into, crash Listen. into the tree? Listen, whatever happens between him and the tree on his own time, on his own dime, <laughs> is between him and that tree. So you're I going with this. I to reset it in the morning, get her together and start a new day. How does it work with gifts? Do you tell Paul what you want or does he figure it out? Ooh. So I don't tell, he's actually a wonderful gift giver. Is he? Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a great gift giver. Oh. And a few years ago, and I'm still paying the price for what I did, I you know, have a number of agents. My ring just fell off. Oh, maybe off. he'll get you a I ring. I simply can't bend down to get it. So I guess I'll have that to That seems like here. a sign of yeah, some I kind. Yeah, just can't get it. Well, I'm done with my yes. Christmas shopping for my wife. Wait a second. Wait a second. Thank you. I couldn't risk it. I couldn't risk bending down there. That's um, got to be an omen. That's got to be something. Don't get the tree in the bedroom. God is telling us there's going to be a fire. Oh, no. But a few Christmases ago, I made the mistake. I had purchased a number of these backpacks that I thought were really cool for my agents. Uh -huh. I have multiple agents. I don't know what they do, but <laughs> they're all on the emails. So I thought, what a lovely gift. Now, Paul saw, my husband saw that I was getting these backpacks, and I thought, wow, he really seems to like them. And I got the same one for him. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he opened it and he said, You got me the same backpack you got your agent? <laughs> <laughs> like, as though they're the scum of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> These bottom feeders. And I was like, I thought you liked it. So, um, yeah, I'm yeah. still recovering. All right. He's a hard right. man to shop if for. If you but need any help, let me great. know. I can Thank come you. up some, with something nice for Paul. Thank you. As he stumbles over the tree in the middle of the night. <laughs> With an erection, yes. The movie um, is called 8-Bit Christmas. It premieres November 24th on HBO Max. June, Diane, Ray Feel, everybody. Thank you. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.